Hello guys, you're welcome to Lizama Stitches. My name is Amaka. If you're new here, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe. And also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to draft a basic bodies block. So let's get started. Now this is my pattern paper. I've drawn some lines already. So from here to here is 16 inches. This is the length of my bodies. Now this is, this is going to be my starting point, which is also going to serve as my shoulder line. While this is the center back, let me label it. Now this is the center back and this is the center front. So this is the shoulder. This is the shoulder. Now I use the biggest part, the largest part of my body measurement, which is the bust, to draft this, to draw this line. Now what I did is I divided my bust circumference by two and I added four inches allowance to it. Now my bust circumference is 38 inches. 38 divided by two gives you 19 inches plus two plus four inches allowance. That gives you 23 inches. That gives you 23 inches. So what I have here is 23 inches. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to divide this box into two so that I'm going to use one part as for my, I'm going to use one part for my, for the back panel and one part for the front panel. So now 23 divided by two, 23 divided by two gives you 11.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 11.5 inches here. And I'll connect it. Now, the back, the back panel, the back panel is, the front panel is shorter than the back panel. Now this is 16 inches, 16, the front panel is 16 inches while the back panel is 14 inches. So I'm going to rule 14 inches, I'm going to, I'm going to, So I'm going to mark 14 inches here. And I'll connect it. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to take my neck measurement. Now the neck width I'm working with is three inches, three inches. So I'm going to mark three inches here. And the neck depth is one inch. For the back panel, the neck depth is one inch. So I'm going to connect. So I'm going to take the shoulder measurement. Now the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 14 inches. 14 divided by two gives you seven inches. Plus half inch seam allowance gives you 7.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 7.5 inches here. So from this point, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slant. And I'll connect this point to this point. Just like this. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to impute my armhole depth. Now from this point, I'm going to take my armhole measurement. Now the, my armhole, the armhole measurement I'm working with is is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 gives you 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 8 inches here. And I'll connect it. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure that this 7.5 inches I have here, I'll bring it down here. 7.5 inches. Now this is 7.5 inches. So I'll connect it. Now what I have here, now what I have here is nine inches. Now from here, from this point to this point is nine inches. So I'm going to mark nine inches here. So I'll connect this point to this point. So this is my chest point. Now this is my chest point. So I'm going to extend this line. I'm going to extend it. Now, this nine inches that I marked here, I'm also going to mark nine inches here. So this is my chest point. This is my chest point. Now I'm going to use my armhole curve. Now, for me to do that, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be working with my bust second bust measurement. Now my bust circumference is 38 inches, 38 divided by four. 
that 8 divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 9.5 inches here. Now, from this point, I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. Now, this is the midpoint of this line. I'm going to connect this point to this point with my curved ruler. So the next thing I'm going to do is to impute my dart. Now, my, the bus, now for me to do that, I'm going to be working with my bus span measurement. Now, my bus span measurement is 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 gives you 4 inches. So I'm going to mark 4 inches here. And I'll mark 4 inches on this line. And I'll connect it together. So the next thing I'm going to do, now after that, from this line, I'm going to come down by one inch. And on this line, on this line, I'm going to now I'm going to mark half inch on both sides of this line. And I'll connect it. I'll connect this point to this point and this point to this point. I'm going to extend this line. Now, this is my deeper allowance. This is my deeper allowance. So the next thing I'm going to do, and now this is this is 1.5 inches seam zipper allowance. So what I'm going to do now to, to now to eliminate the zipper bulge, I'm going to come in by three quarter inch. From this point, I'm going to come in by three quarter inch. And from on from this line, I'm going to come in by three quarter inch. And I'll connect it. Now let me label this line. So I'll connect this point. I'll connect this point to this point and this point to this point. Just like this. So I now I have it now I now have a zipper a new zipper allowance. So this part is no longer useful to me. This part is no longer useful. Now I'm going to take my horizontal measurement. Now this is my waist. This is my waist point. This is my waist point. The waist circumference I'm working with is 32 inches. 32 divided by 4 gives you 8 inches. 32 divided by 4 gives you 8 inches plus this one inch for this dart because I'm going to close it. So I'm, I'm going to return it here. So one inch for that gives you nine inches plus this three quarter inch, which I'm going to cut off. This three quarter inch gives you nine three quarter. So I'll connect the points. So I'll connect this point to this point. For the front panel, let me take my vertical measurement. Now the chest point, this chest point, now the chest point, I'm going to extend this line. And the bust point, now the bust point is 11 inches. The bust point I'm working with is 11 inches. So I'm going to mark 11 inches. From this point, I'm going to mark 11 inches. And I'll connect it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to take my neck measurement. Now, the neck width is three inches. The neck width is, is usually, the front neck width and the back neck width is usually the same thing. So, the front neck width is three inches, while the front neck depth is three inches. So, I'm going to connect it. And... I'm going to take my shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 14 inches. 14 divided by 2 gives you 7 inches plus half inch seam allowance gives you 7.5 inches. So this is 7.5 inches. And I'm going to now, from this point, I'm going to come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slant. And I'll connect this point to this point. 
Now, this same measurement I have here, 7.5 inches, I'm going to bring it down here. And I'm going to connect this point to this point. So this is my check point, bust point, and waist point. Now I'm going to impute my, my armhole curve. Now for me to do that, I'm going to be working with my bust measurement. Now a quarter of my bust circumference is 9.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 9.5 inches here. And I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. This is the midpoint of this line. Now from this midpoint, I'm going to go in by three quarter inch. And I'll connect this point to this point and this point to this point with my curved ruler. And I'll connect this point to this point. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to impute my DAT. Now, the, for me to do that, I'll be working with my bust fan measurement. The bust fan measurement I'm working with is 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 gives you 4 inches. So I'm going to mark 4 inches here. And I'll mark 4 inches here. So I'll connect it. Now, from this point, I'm going to come down by one inch, and on this point, I'm going to mark half inch on both sides of this line. And I'll connect this point to this point, and this point to this point. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my horizontal measurement, now, on my chest point, take note, I'm taking my bust measurement on my chest point. Now, a quarter of my bust circumference is 9.5 inches. And this is 9.5 inches. Now, on my waist point, a quarter of my waist circumference is 8 inches plus this dart. Now, this is 8 inches plus this dart. I'm going to return this dart here because if I don't return it, I'm going to, ha I'm going to run short of fabric. I'm going to have shortage. So... I'm going to return this dart here. So eight plus this one inch is one inch. Eight plus this one inch for dart gives you nine inches. So I'm going to mark nine inches. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. So now on this point, now on this point, I'm going to come down by two inches. I'm going to come down by two inches. Now these two inches I have here, these two inches difference I have here, I'm going to, I'm going to mark it here, two inches. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. Now from this line, on this point, I'm going to come out by one inch. And now, while on this point, I'm going to come down by one inch. And I'll connect this point to this point. So now that is just it with this. So I'm going to cut it. Now for me to fold in this dart, I'll have to cut the back first, then I'll fold it. When I fold in this dart, when I close this dart, I'm going to blend this part very well. And for me to be able to close this dart, I'll have to open this dart. Now that is where dart manipulation comes in. For you to be able to close one dart, you have to open another dart. So for me to be able to close this, I'm going to open this. So let me cut the back panel. Now, what's your now for this zipper allowance? This is optional. What you're sewing, if it doesn't need this zipper, if it doesn't need the back zipper allowance, there will be no there is no need using adding zipper allowance to it. 
soul. Just have that in mind. If what you're sowing doesn't need deeper allowance at the back, there will be no need adding deeper allowance to it. Now, for me to be able to blend this together, now I need to blend this. For me to be able to do that, let me cut off this part. Now, for me to be able to, bl to blend this part, I'll have to open here. For me to be able to close this dart, I'll have to open this one. So now that I've opened it, now this is how I'm going to close it. So now I'm going to blend this point. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to use my tracing wheel. So now when I open it, you see what I have here. So I'm going to mark this. Now, if you don't have a tracing wheel, this is what you do. From this point, you can go out by half inch and you connect it to this point and connect it to this point. That is, if you don't have a tracing wheel. If you don't have a tracing wheel, just connect this point to this point. Just mark half inch here and you connect this point to this point and this point to this point. So I'm going to cut it. So now this is my basic bodies. So this is the front panel. So this is the front panel and this is the back panel. So now you see that, now see, when I close here, when I close this that, this and this will now be equal. These two will now be equal. So that's just it. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, share this video in your sewing groups. Subscribe to my channel and feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Lizama Stitches. We'll come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.